welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before and thank you so much for coming back i am freya and this is budgie budgets and today we're doing a bit of an all sorts video um so i have a tiny bit of happy mail uh to go through from prince by carly studio which i'm really excited about i have my budgie budgets binder finally ready to show you guys and um I have a little confession to make, um, but we'll get to that. So let's check out, as you can see, I have not opened this yet. I've been patiently waiting before I open it. Um, but I'm really excited about what's inside. I know I haven't, I know, I know. I have not even started using the other things that I've purchased from Friends by Carly Studio, but I just kind of a little bit um, can't help myself. So, you know. It is what it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So this is her little, a little something to brighten your day. Love. Love, lovey, love. Um, so I decided I wanted to do some scratch offs, so you can see. And I just kind of, I don't know, I just felt like it would be cooler if I got them from somebody else. Because like, I don't know, if I make them, I might remember where I put the stickers. Um, oh gosh, her stickers are Oh my goodness! Oh, she sent me a little buddy, you guys. Oh, Carly, that is the coolest. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I might just have to put that there for now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am pushing. My daughter's obsessed with this. A little dog <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> you can stick his always coming up. Groceries are expensive. Little mini saver. It says save 50. This was a little freebie. Love that because you are absolutely right. Groceries are expensive. That is awesome. I'll definitely be doing that in my little mini Mondays. I'll pop those off to the side. And look at this gorgeous little paper clip. It's a little flower. That's so sweet. Love it. Love, lovey, love it. Okay, let's get into it. What have we got here? <laughs> so I ordered, I think it was the 10 or 12 little set. Um, of little mini scratch offs and they're like positive affirmations <laughs> so it's I'm kind of a big deal <laughs> I love a pun you guys I really do uh, it just tickles me uh, stay positive nuts about you that's so cute everything will be okay be kind I am moody <laughs> I'll be back you quack me up. Snailed it. I love you like no otter. Very cute. And seal of approval. Oh my goodness. They're adorable. So they will be going into my regular um, savings challenge binder once I finish. I've got a few challenges in there that I'm really close to finishing. So what I'm going to do is just rotate these through until I've saved up everything, like all of them. Um, that's my plan for those. Rainy day fund. Uh, I got this one for mini Mondays, to be honest, um, to, for my like save it category to go towards my emergency fund. Cause I just thought it was really cute. And then I might show you, I might show you this one. Else. I mean, how could I not <laughs> get the bird one? I had to, right? I absolutely had to. Uh, so this one's a save 110. And it's double-sided, so she's got a roll and save as well on the back, which is super cool. I love that. And I got that another cow one because it's so cute, which is a save 100. And it's double-sided as well. Little colouring cows. I love that. That is so cool. Uh, dear Freya, thank you for your support. I've included July freebie. Hope you like it. Stay warm and happy savings. Thank you so much, Carly. I won't turn that over because there is a gift code for repeat customers. Um, this is the last one that I got, which I just loved. So you guys all really seem to like the this or that challenge that I got from Amanda, Mum Wife Budget Life. So I figure once I'm finished with that one, we're going to be going on to this one. So it's like a, you've got to roll two dice and then it's never have I ever. So you save a certain amount for what you have done, a certain amount for what you have done. So I donated blood, met a celebrity, lost a phone, like they're all... I just thought that would all be a bit funny. Um, so that'll go in there once I've finished Amanda's challenge. Thank you so much, Carly. They are so cool. Okay, so what shall we do first? Shall we stuff the shall we stuff the Etsy binder or shall we talk about maybe first of all, 
let me show you. Let me show you the Budgie Budgets binder because I just feel like it's perfect. Look, you guys, it's tiny birdies. Um, for those of you who I know are going to ask, this is another um, Filofax binder, like all of my other ones, they're all Filofax binders. People ask where I bought them from all the time. I bought them from wherever they're cheapest. So sometimes that's Amazon, sometimes that's eBay, sometimes that's um, Filofax's website themselves if they're having a sale. Um, sometimes it's other random little stationary places. So I just get them wherever they're cheapest. And to be honest, guys, look around because they can go for um, as high as like 95 to more than $100. Almost all of these I have got for $25 or less. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around, it's worth waiting for when they go on sale. Um, a lot of them I had purchased pre-budgeting um, because I'm a planner girly. So I had a little stash of binders already or from last time I was cash stuffing, which was a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is another file of facts. It's got a little, little button and string. It's a little tiny little birdie. I think, I hope you can see that um, in the button. It's just so sweet. And then we have envelopes and we are stuffing this binder with prop money, I've decided, just mostly because it will probably come in and out a lot. And I need access to those funds in my business account if I need to buy something that I need like urgently, like supplies, materials wise. So um, we're just going to stash prop money because then it doesn't matter if I don't unstuff it straight away. It's not the end of the world. Um, I just thought that was the easiest way to do it for this particular binder. Now, um, <laughs> I feel nervous. I feel nervous. Um, for those of you who have been here a while, for, the, <laughs> for you OGs, um, you will know that when I started my channel, uh, my children thought it was ludicrous for me to name the channel Budgie Budgets when we don't own a budgie and we have never owned a budgie. <laughs> it's just, I just really liked the alliteration <laughs> and I really liked what I might be able to do with the logo. Um, and so I had made a deal with my kids and my husband and I had made a deal with my kids that we could get a bird as a pet because they have wanted one for quite some time so we said we could get a bird as a pet um either when i reached a thousand subscribers on youtube or when i had made a certain amount of sales on etsy i surpassed that amount of sales um like more than six weeks ago probably two months ago um, however, the outgoing costs and the way that Etsy reserve your funds kind of messed with my cash flow. And so I had to break the news to the kids that whilst I was there, uh, we would not be getting a bird. Um, however, <laughs> um, however, the last kind of six weeks has been um, fantastic. And I have now uh, doubled the initial amount that I told the kids I would have to make before I would consider letting them get a bird which is amazing. And you guys are phenomenal. And I've just had to pause all of my physical listings again. Uh, not because I'm unwell. I'm perfectly fine. I'm just worried <laughs> that if any more orders come in, I'm not going to be able to get them out on like in the time frame that I've specified on Etsy. So I'm just going to pause for a few days or a week um, so that I can make sure that all of the current orders I have are getting out in a reasonable amount of time because I don't want you guys waiting forever for what you have ordered. Um, especially in some cases, the, the orders are really significant and I am, I'm, I'm so blown away. I can't even, I'm just going to take a breath because I don't want to get all teary and be that emotional person. Not that there's anything wrong with being an emotional person. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful and I'm so just really excited that you guys genuinely really seem to um, enjoy my products and that you appreciate how much care I put into them. Um, it's awesome. So anyway, all of that to go the long way around and say we're cash stuffing into this Etsy binder a lot less money than I have actually earned currently in Etsy. And that is because last weekend we went and we got ourselves a little birdie. <laughs> so I had this savings, this savings track in here for Tweet Tweet for a little birdie. Um, and as I said at the time, it was something I was absolutely not going to commit to unless we could buy everything that we needed to set up for that bird and unless we had an emergency fund. And um, I can quite comfortably say that between the money I have currently in 
like account buffers, savings challenges, my emergency fund box. We do have a, a decent emergency fund now. Um, and I had more than enough um, in the account that I had been keeping specifically for this purpose with Etsy income um, to buy the bird. So we were going to get a budgie. We did not get a budgie. We went, we went to the bird shop, the aviary place, and um, we had a look at the budgies, but they also have a big open room where they have lots of hand reared birds. For anyone who knows anything about birds, budgies are super cheap. Um, they're very little, they're very cute. Um, and then, birds go up in price dramatically from there so anything hand reared is quite expensive um like they like I'm talking like they have birds in there for like ten thousand dollars it's insane don't worry don't worry we're we don't go too crazy um but we did spend uh one thousand dollars and a little bit of change um on a beautiful birdie her cage all of her toys food like I got I got like months worth of food um bedding like all of the all of the things that you need to set up for a bird. I have been researching owning a bird for a long time. I'm that person who <laughs> thinks ADHD will hyperfixate on this topic, need to know everything about it. So um, anyway, we have a bird. Her name is Bluebell. She is blue. She is not a budgie. She is a Quaker parrot. Um, I will put some photos in here if I can. So the first photo is what happened was we went into the room with all of the free flying birds and this little lady was just so... Um, she was just so shy and so timid and so sweet. Um, and I really just wanted to, um, play with her, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay. So apologies because I just had to go and <laughs> help my little one, um, with something. She was, yeah, needing my help at the door. Um, and then... It was time to go and pick up my big kids from school. So it's been like a little while since I filmed that first bit. But let us get back to where we were. Um, so, yeah, I just, I, yeah, it's so overwhelming in this room of birds. It's crazy. Um, there are just so many. They had two giant macaws, which were um, terrifying, to put it lightly. Like, just absolutely beautiful. But also I was like, oh, my God, please do not come near me. Um one of them actually stood on my son's head, like the lady put it on my son's head. Um, but yeah, it was, um, it was really something. There were so many birds in there. There's yellow, yellow something, lorikeet, I think it was, was obsessed with my husband, like just was on him the whole time that we were there and we were there for a really long time. Um, and a rainbow lorikeet that was all over my daughter, which she absolutely loved until it bit her on the ear and then, then she didn't think it was so great anymore. <laughs> But this little Quaker parrot, Bluebell, um, oh, she just wanted me to love her. I just wanted to love her. She was just, she was very shy compared to the other birds, um, which I mean, look, may prove to be a mistake. Maybe she won't be as, um, like Quaker parrots are generally very affectionate if you bond with them well and you train them well. Um, but yeah, but when, when she finally came to me, she just snuggled on my chest and then like buried herself in my arm, uh, and like in the, in the like bend of my arm and was just purring like a little kitten. She just sounded like a little kitten. It was just the most, just the sweetest, most adorable little thing. Um, so I gave my husband the big puppy dog eyes and was like, please, can we take her home? Because she just wants me to love her. <laughs> Uh, and so we did. So she is at home with us now. I'm sure you'll hear her from time to time in the background of my videos because she can be very noisy. Um, Quaker parrots can learn to talk and yeah, generally very affectionate. So she will, she does have her wings clipped at the moment. They clip the wings of all of their birds. Um, not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of that. So we won't be getting them reclipped um, once she's yeah, once they grow out, she's only a baby. She's only four months old, so she's itty bitty. And their lifespan is usually 20 to 30 years. So hopefully we bond well because she's going to be my little Bessie for a long, long time. Um, my dogs are very unsure of her. They seem to love her. There's a lot of tail wagging going on. They've not growled at her at all or anything like that, but they do. They're very interested. They want to get up on her cage and have a look. So we did have to get like an old playpen out of the shed to pop around the cage um, so that they can't jump on the cage and stuff, 
you probably just heard that. That was her. Uh, so they can't jump on the cage and startle her. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've, that's what we've done. That's where that money's gone. That's my little, that's our, um, look, someone call, well, someone call it irresponsible spending. Someone call it an investment. I see it as an investment. I'm an animals person. We all are. I mean, that's not at all uncommon in a neuro spicy household to have people who are particularly, um, fond of and aligned with animals, um, that's just how we are we're not big going out people we're home most of the time and that suits life with a bird or life with any pet to be honest um so maybe cats i guess <laughs> um yeah so i'm super duper excited i know uh plenty of you will be thinking that we should have put that money on debt and there is part of me that absolutely agrees with you but also um we're sacrificing other things. Like we've not been on a holiday in a long time. We won't be on a holiday, like a like an expensive holiday for quite a long time. We know that. Um, this is something that, um, yeah, that I wanted and that the kids wanted. My brother-in-law has a yellow collared macaw as well. So we know, I suppose, what it's like to look after a bird from all of his tales and stories and interacting with his bird and all of that sort of thing. So um, yeah, and we have still made debt progress this month. I am sure of it and good progress in all of our binders so um yeah i'm pretty happy with our decision i must say i did lose sleep that night i was worried <laughs> um about having parted with so much money i was worried about coming in here and telling you guys um i don't know why i've never told you anything before that has um got me any judgmental comments or anything like that i think everyone in this community it just um you all just seem to be just beautiful people uh, and I hope that's because like attracts like, um, <laughs> anyway, let's get stuffing. So I will show you what we've got to staff. We are, um, as I said, we're doing prop notes because I want that, that money available in my thing. If I don't get round to unstuffing this, you know, as regularly as I need to or whatever, that it won't matter so much. Um, so it's more just so that you guys can see the ins and outs of it if you're interested and if you're not interested in these videos just don't watch them that's okay just you know like with any of my videos just watch what you want to watch and if you're not interested sail on by it's all good um it's all cool so these are these are the same old budget bucks you've seen you've seen the fives before and then we have tens aren't they cute we have 20s Ooh, we have 50s and we have hundreds so I tried to keep them in line with like, you know, as similar as I could colors of actual Aussie banknotes. Uh, I think just so that it's the least confusing for my brain. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're stuffing today. Let's count it up and get going. So we've got 200, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 350, 10, 20, 30 which makes it 380, 390, 395, $402. I know that's a random amount, but that's how much we've got. Uh, I've run out of room in my little thing, my little tray. That's all right. Um, I have also made trackers specifically for this binder. Um, so they're very similar to my other trackers, most of them. The font's just different because this is the newer logo budget budget font. Um, so I thought that would be cool. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, please don't request these envelopes. <laughs> please do. Please do not make an order and put in the personalization that this is what you want. I am not offering these envelopes in my shop at the moment. Um, these were painful to make. They look beautiful. They turned out gorgeous. I'm, I really, really love them. Um, I hope that's showing up on camera as nice as it looks in person. They have... Um, the laminate is glittered like it's like a snowflake starry glittery design and it is on the laminate so when you put the cash in there it's still glittery which is just cool i just have not mastered the process yet um this was like blood sweat and tears that's why there's so few envelopes because i was once i was done i was done um and there's just a few too many um little bubbles and things like that uh for me to be comfortable selling them as a product so but just give me a little bit of time a little bit of time a little bit of practice i just need to practice with it and i'm sure at some point i may be able to master it 
um, so that I can sell them on to you guys. But yeah, we'll see how we go for now. Um, for now, I won't be offering them. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get going. So materials is getting, and in materials, I'm including like laminate, vinyl, uh, paper and cardstock, uh, what, oh, like scratch offs, binder. Um, oh my goodness, what do you call them? Like binder clips, um, like for my Christmas binder that I haven't started making for the Etsy store yet, but will. Um, dice, all of those things all of those things that go into making my savings challenges, my envelopes or whatever. And I'm also including printer ink in this at this point. I would like to give it its own envelope just because it's an expensive thing um, in its own right. But for now, it's just going into material. So this today is getting 199. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 197, 199. So that is going in there. Which way do I want it? I'm not sure. I'm not going to bother having a tracker for this because it's going to have money in and out of it all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's not, there's no specific goal. It's just is what it is. Uh, postage is going to get $8 and this is not for postage costs so much like the tracked envelopes that I use or paying for parcels or anything. It's literally for postage materials like the boxes that I physically use, the pouches that I physically use, the tissue paper, um, the little plastic bags, like stickers, all that kind of stuff, my little thank you cards, all of those bits and pieces are going in here. So there's $8 in there for now. And again, this is something that's probably gonna be drawn on all the time, so I'm not gonna bother with tracker. Canva is getting a tracker because it has a set amount that I need by the end of the year in order to pay that subscription. So I have a yearly subscription to Canva. Um, so I'm just going to cross these ones out. So we're putting $20 in here today. Each icon is worth five. Um, so there's a few different programs that I use to create my stuff. Canva is definitely one of them. Um, and I also use a couple of other programs that I don't have to pay ongoing for, mostly because they're artist related programs that I have had or planning related pro programs that I have had um, for quite some time. And so I'm like grandfathered into them. So I, you know, did a one-off payment when they first appeared in the app store and now they're either really expensive to buy or you need a subscription but if you bought it in the first place you don't need the subscription so i'm really really lucky and that like one of them i think i paid nine dollars for um and now you have to pay an ongoing subscription of like twelve dollars a month or something but because i bought it when i did i just have it so yay um <laughs> so that's that one uh then we have design space which is cricket's app um, so that is what I use uh, to cut all my vinyl, create any custom dashboards, all of that sort of thing. Um, the machine I actually have is super cool insofar as it can do a whole bunch of other things that I have not even tried. Uh, I will try them eventually. Um, like maybe to like, I don't know, do my own binders or something or mm, maybe not. I don't know. I prefer the creative side of things than like the physical side of things, I suppose. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Anyway, so $20 going into that one as well. Just make sure that's nice and dry. Okay. That's that one. They do look nice, don't they, with the glitter? I am a fan. I'll work on it, you guys. I will. I'll, I'll practice without wasting too much... Um, <laughs> too much materials um yeah research and development investment okay so this one is for amazon prime and it's getting 10 each icon is a five same as the other ones this one obviously has less icons because amazon prime is not as expensive i do also fund amazon prime in our like bills binder i've got a category in there for that in our subscriptions so i'll just see how i go if i can fund it through my business then i will i use it for both so um, I buy house related stuff on there if it's cheaper than in the supermarkets like often uh, my shampoo and conditioner that I get for myself and my daughter is cheaper on Amazon than it is in the supermarket unless it's like really on sale um, so yeah also I have ADHD so I love the immediacy of Amazon Prime when I was talking to someone the other day uh, I think it was was it Aussie, Aussie Budget Mum or Aussie Mum Budgets? 
oh, one or the other and i was saying that um yeah like if if i go, go to buy something on amazon and it's not next day delivery i'm like mega disappointed like no this is this is what i'm paying for i want it like today or tomorrow <laughs> it's the best when you find something on there to buy and it's like same day delivery by 9 p.m like oh my god that's incredible <laughs> the best the best in instant gratification <laughs> Okay, equipment's getting 10. So this is for like replacing the cutters on my vinyl cutter or, um, you know, if I have to replace my hole punch or my corner rounder or um, anything like that. I am thinking I might have to save up for one of those like bulk corner rounders. There's ones you can get that does like a, like a whole stack of things at a time. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, especially if I want to make the binders because I know I don't know tell me what you guys think like a lot of people like these sorts of binders a lot of people make them just with the squared edges um, rather than corner rounding them it does look really nice but I tend to find that whenever laminate has square edges it's uh, it's really sharp and I, I scratch myself on it all the time uh, I know from like making envelopes and things um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts because I mean corner rounding is um yeah it takes a lot of time it's a pretty annoying process but I feel like yeah I feel like that's better um PO box I'm not putting anything in this for now but I would like to save up for a PO box in the future um just you know why not uh now super so I'm trying to put um 10% of all of my net proceeds from Etsy. So basically my sales after Etsy fees, which are awful, um, but I'm grateful for Etsy service. Um, so I'm trying to put 10% of that into this category, just like that, because because that's what would happen. Oh my goodness, sorry guys, I'm getting really tongue-tied. Just like what would happen if I was working for an employer. So just because I'm working for myself, I don't want to be contributing less to my super than I would be if I was actively employed by somebody else. Um, because at my age, superannuation is important. It's also great for tax to be contributing to my super. Also, if I contribute another thousand dollars, I'll get that five hundred dollars again. Um, the super mat from the government, which is awesome, love that. Uh, so yeah, so I'm I'm trying to be mindful to contribute ten percent of all of my sales into this. Hopefully, this will cover my thousand dollars super for the year, and then that roll it up challenge, which I was planning on putting towards super, will go towards debt. That would be very nice. All right, I'm going to color in. We're putting 135 in here, and that is the last of our monies. And I'm going to speed this up. Okay, I might just do his little, I'll just do his little coin so I know there's an extra five in there. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that one. We'll get this to dry off for a second. And then our last category in here will be emergency. I lie, our second last category. So I've got an envelope for tax. I'm, you know, <laughs> manifesting you guys, just manifesting. The tax-free threshold here in Australia is quite high. So it's very unlikely that I'm gonna earn enough that I have to pay any tax. Um, but you know, manifest, we manifest, we manifest. <laughs> So that's why that's there, just in case it gets to a level where it looks like I'm going to have to pay some tax. I want to make sure that I've got money aside from that. I don't want to owe the tax office at the end of the year and have no money ready for it. We have experienced that last year and it was horrible. So I'm not keen to do that again. Um, and then emergency. So I just want to have a bit of an emergency fund just in case, you know, one of my machines breaks down, my printer stops working. I mean, everyone knows printers are notorious for not being nice, knock on wood. Um, you know, yeah, just, just in case my laminator stops working or something gets stuck or whatever, I, I want to have cash available to be able to fix that so that it doesn't then impact my orders uh, moving forward. And I would like to be able to do that without touching the credit card, obviously. So uh, that is what that will be there for. So we'll pop that one in there so it's ready to go. And then we'll get this money in here because that should be dry by now. Beautiful. So I think what I will do is um, I'll do a stuffing in this in this binder once a month. Um, in the short term, um, the majority of money will be staying in this binder. So I will be making sure I've got a good buffer for postage stuff. I'll be making sure that I'm on track to pay these for the year. 
I'll be saving up for equipment just in case I need to replace things. I'll be adding to my super. I really would like this to be, I think, what have I done? 10, so it's 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Yeah, so I want a good $500 in there. And then I will start flowing money into, um, you know, ob like obviously I'm always going to be contributing to materials and, and postage, like the things that are used up, like going to get used up. Um, but then if we have excess money after that, I will flow that into things like Christmas, um, clothing, our savings challenges to pay off debt. Um, yeah, they'll, they will be the main focuses, things like that. So, um, yeah, and family fun, uh, stuff like that, because, um, basically I want our, I want our budget to function on the income that is guaranteed. Um, so, you know, my husband's wages, the money we get from the government, our child support payment, those are the things, that's the nuts and bolts of our budget. This is supplemental income because, <laughs> because I do have such a lack of confidence in myself. I just want to feel like I know that if this all dries up tomorrow and suddenly you guys all hate me or whatever, um, that, that, you know, our base budget is going to be a-okay. Um, so I want this to be fun stuff, like a baby bird, um, and... <laughs> And paying off debt, that's the main focus. I, I'm hoping that this will help. I'm hoping this will be what gets us over the line to actually paying off that major credit card, which is accruing interest by April next year. Because that, that is the goal. That's our main goal. And um, yeah, I, I want to be on track for that. And obviously we've been set back by that child support payment changing so dramatically. Um, that's, you know, that's pushed us backwards. That's going to mean that we can't send anywhere near as much to that from our base budget as, as I was planning to, as I thought we would be able to. Um, and so hopefully this is what can make up the difference. Um, that's the plan. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I will stop blabbering and I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching today. If you stuck through to the end with me, you are awesome. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please, please subscribe when we get to 500. I don't know. No one's really commented on it. I'm not sure whether to do a giveaway or um, just add like a bulk lot of freebies to my freebies folder. There is a freebies folder down below. If you haven't already seen it, there's a couple of challenges in there. Um, so I'm still deciding which one I'll do. I suppose one means that everyone <laughs> gets something, but the other one maybe feels more significant. Um, but yeah, we'll decide when we get a little bit closer, but we are getting there, you guys, which is just so, so exciting. I'm so thankful and grateful for all of your support. I really, really am. Please join in on Sunday. We're doing a big budget with me. So we've got two incomes, two stuff, and we've also got third because we've got our family tax benefit, which is our government payment for those not in Australia, uh, settlement for the year. And we've got a few hundred dollars out of that. So we will be stuffing in excess of a thousand dollars, I think. Um, so it's a, it'll be a big budget with me on Sunday. It'll be a slightly bigger Monday minutes this week as well, or next week as well. And uh, yeah, a nice big cash stuffing. So please come back and join me for that. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I look forward to hearing from all of you guys in the comments. And I hope you all have an absolutely amazing weekend. I better go check out what is upsetting my little birdie. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.